Guys, it's 6.30 here in the beautiful island of Jamaica. I actually just finished my um, session in a &E. It was an eight hour session. Um, it was really, it wasn't easy. Um, most times when persons come to accident emergency, they expect to get through very quickly. But somehow, even though you try to, you know, speed things up and be very diligent with your work, it almost seems like it's never good enough and that some of this can be a bit discouraging and, and medicine you're basically doing it to serve the, the general public but it's it's just one of those things where you have to accept the fact that the public will never be satisfied with what you're doing um i must say it wasn't it wasn't too bad a shift but it wasn't the best shift either and there was a lot of things you had to do i got this at the suture um some stuff um there was some patients that require like uh you know more attentive care and must say I, I learned something this session um, an acronym that I never know, know, knew about before which is called uh, which is an acronym used to memorize the indications for dialysis which is A-E-I-O-U the A is for acid, acid balance acid base balance this um, imbalance the E is for electrolyte imbalance the I is for intoxication the O is for fluid overload and the U is for uremia which is really interesting um, I never knew that acronym before so that's one of the some that's just a way to help you remember the indications for dialysis um, as you can see right behind me is the faculty and that's where I'm going at 8 o'clock for my classes and today is a very short day hopefully 8 to 12 and I hope we don't plan anything extra for us at after 12 o'clock because that will just be missing me because I'm really tired so I'm here hoping to get a cup of coffee so I can go to class and not fall asleep because I think lecturers are probably going to get sick and tired of seeing me sleeping class and it's not even because I'm working it's just because literally when I get in class I just get tired and fall asleep I don't know what it is some lectures can keep me awake if, especially if it's hands-on remember I told you guys I'm a very hands-on person so if for instance I um, it's something that is you know I have to focus and, and use my hands I find that pretty much enjoyable but if it's like I sit I'm sitting down listening to a lecture and the lectures you know most times our lectures are really long like three hours two hours they're lucky enough to get one and if the topic isn't so interesting it can be quite boring so yeah that's pretty much it sun is pretty nice and oh this is a uniform that we wear in, in accident emergency it's really cool work with some really good guys um once you're working with people who are diligent and want to do their job it, it, it goes very smoothly and it, it goes pretty some interesting um, things I, I, I picked up last night too um, with sutures you know most times persons grab the nearest suture with oral amounts of the facial surgery you have to remember that small sutures to the face place pretty pretty well equidistant can help achieve a, a nice cosmetic result a lot of the times you can see where like persons have had cuts and they weren't either sutured or they were sutured with the wrong um, with the wrong size with your own size um suture like whether it be zero 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 one like if you use a five o sorry if, if you use a five o um proline or or something to suture the face it's very fine so shouldn't leave those little marks that you see when you have or as big a mark as you would see when you have when you use a larger suture so that's pretty interesting uh and i've seen the post result as well too which is really which is which has been the cosmetic result has been really appealing um this morning, I, I'm not even know what class. I don't even know what class we have this morning, and that's just real talk. Don't you see how beautiful the building is? It's a huge, well, it's a pretty big building, and that's where I will be for the next two years. Well, counting down to the end of dental school, so DDS 2020. That's the that's the aim. Guys, stay posted. I love the support. Keep focused.